Welcome to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a lob with texture, otherwise known as the messy lob. So let's get started. So the difficult thing about doing a lob that's kind of messy is to make it look like it's supposed to look that way. So what we want to keep in mind is that we still want a really solid lob shape with a lot of internal texture near the end so you can get that messy shape, but still have enough weight and solidity to really hold that lob look. So I'm going to start with my Jatai Osaka scissors. So this is a little longer blade. It's a nice, sharp, clean edge so that when I go through and point cut the bottom, I can still have a nice, solid, clean shape. First thing we're going to do is take a natural or center part to the occipital bone, occipital bone to the mastoid on both sides. This gives me enough hair that I can really start to build my lob shape let too little hair and I start to guess where the shape is and I don't have a good enough guide for the next sections that I start cutting. So I'm going to make sure it's directly in front of me, tilt the head down a little bit. When I'm combing, I'm combing away from me to make sure I get everything clean at the roots. All the way through about halfway, I'll tilt the comb, make sure that's the only texture that I'll get. I'll lay my finger right there where I want to cut ring finger will support, and then I'm going to go through as I point cut that line across. Clean up a little bit where I need to. That's going to be my baseline of my length for the entirety of the shape. Next piece, comb this down. There's my length go through, point cut that. I want to try to keep my point cuts about the same level of depth throughout the whole perimeter shape, meaning I don't want one area to be texturized deeper, point cut deeper than another area. It's going to take a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it soon enough. Next section, comb down, tilt the comb, create the tension, put my fingers in there. I went a little bit too far, go back. There's my guide. Point cut that through. Try to match the depth of my point cut and the length. So this is gonna take a little bit of practice and a little bit of control of your scissor blade, making sure you don't cut yourself as I'm going through and point cutting this the same depth all the way around. After I do that, I'll come in and check and see how oh, that looks fairly even. I got a few long little sprigs there. We'll cut those. And now I've got my basic shape in here. That is going to be my guide for the entirety of this haircut. Now from here, I want to maintain the same sectioning as I go up the head. So I'm going to take from the top of the ear, there's my center, I'm going to follow that same section all the way through, pin this up out of the way, make sure that that matches the same angle, and then do the same thing on the other side. So I've got my guide from underneath, and I'm just going to go through and work this like I would do a one length bob, the only difference being that I'm deep point cutting each section instead of cutting it blunt. If you haven't already, give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy content. Now, as I go through and I cut this on top of my guide, I want to be mindful that I'm not cutting it shorter than my guide. That's the hardest thing about cutting hair, is staying on top of your previously cut guide. There's my guide, especially when you're going through and doing something as soft and as textured as a deep point cut like this. Cutting from the center, going forward on both sides. Find the next flat section. There's my parting. And then I want to draw that all the way through and around. 
make sure that that parting is parallel. What will happen a lot of times is as people take this parting as they're sectioning into the side, they change the angle. And what happens is they end up taking an angle that's something like this, where it starts becoming a more vertical angle as opposed to a more horizontal angle. So I want to make sure I can keep everything the same as I go up. It makes for a much more consistent haircut. And it takes a little bit of practice. Okay, it, ta okay, it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> Small piece underneath as my guide, piece from the back as my guide, go through, point cut that through. Home nice and smooth, even no tension. Tension. The only tension that I put in here with my fingers is when I grab it to cut it. The only other tension that I'm getting is from the comb pulling it through and me flipping my comb. Since my parting is the same on both sides. I know that if I comb that T to my parting, that my angles will match on both sides. Because not only do I have a guide of length underneath, I have a guide of where I'm combing each section from my parting. A little bit right there I want to clean up, but I'm not being real precise and anal about every little hair here on the bottom being exactly the same length. It's a messy lob, so I need the softness of that texture to soften the structure, but because I'm cutting it blunt with a scissor, it's still gonna maintain a, a solid shape when it falls. I comb it down, there's very little that reaches, and just comb down and cut anything that hangs over off. There, we got a little bit of hair there in the front, and that brings us to our lob shape being completed. Depending upon the type of hair that you're working on, the texture of it, and how much separation that you really want for your end result is gonna determine what type of tool I use. If I want something that's gonna be flicky, then I'm going to use my feather plie razor, because that allows me to channel it and make the hair separate into pieces more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with hair underneath in the nape. So I'm gonna go through and take a vertical section here and apply my texture. If I take a horizontal section, it's gonna be a more solid shape. If I take a more vertical section, it can be more flicky from my separation when I go through and channel it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold this section 90 degrees from the head. There's my angle. We're gonna take my feather plie razor and I'm gonna go through about halfway and channel that down and through. Where it's thicker, I'll take a little bit more. Where it's not as thick, I'll take a little bit less. That will be my first section. Now I wanna go through and kinda of move that and see if that's given me the kind of flicky separation and given me enough down there on the bottom before I move on, because it's hard to come back to it. So I wanna check this out and see, and I'm thinking that that's looking pretty good. I'll take the next section, which would be another section, right? and as I start to walk back, I will comb this section completely out of the way. I don't wanna texturize it again. Hold that out. This is a little thinner, so I'll take a little bit less through there, pull that out of the way, a little bit more right through there, get my separation into it, check it out, and that's looking pretty good. And I'm gonna walk this all the way over to the other side of the head. Come through, a good channel through this piece here. And that's looking pretty good. Close my blade as I continue on section by section and just texturize the whole top of it exactly the same way that I'm doing around the front. 
This is a little thinner, so it's not going to get as much texture, but each channel will be more severe. Follow us on your favorite social media platform at Jatai Feather. All right, here's our finished result. We've got a nice bit of texture into it. It keeps it kind of messy, but we still have a nice solid lob shape to it, which I think is important when you're doing something that's gonna be messy like this, especially on a finer texture of hair. I think it looks pretty good. Girl, you look good. You got that blondie thing going on. I like it. Check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of fabulous information on there that will make you a better hairstylist and a better barber. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.